Sends it back out. Taken away by Brown. Albert Morin. Unable to get the put back to go down. Good looks, but Connecticut just intimidating a little in there. Nice move at the other end. Albert Morin. Been there eight times, seven of eight from the free throw line. Mooring and Saunders along with Cox and Brown and Dang, and there's Albert Mooring in a big sigh of relief. How about this little presentation yeah. defensively by yeah. Morris? Albert Mooring creates some space and hits the shot. Mooring last year averaged almost 14 points per game. Slide. Back to UConn. Saunders kept it alive. Mooring again. Good kick, good find, and a spread by Mooring, too. Brown going all over the place, finally finds somebody in Mooring. Steps back, got a tough shot though. That's a nice little play, they all worked on it. Spit problem. So Connecticut's going to be shorthanded through the beginning of the season, and they've got a rugged schedule as Mooring gets a huge three to make it a seven-point game. Mooring, there. Well, that he can do. Cox on the left, finds Mooring. Mooring puts it on the floor and fires. Albert Mooring last year led the Big East in three-point field goals. That was a deep two. Brown to inbound in its fourth court. Martin, nobody home there, and instead picked off by Butler. Finds Mooring on the left wing and the foul. Good finish there. Good, solid, straightforward break. Take it to the middle, make the defense commit. One pass. It'll knock it down. Butler with the runner from the left. No shot. good. Long rebound to Mooring. Mooring throws up the three. Got it. Rejected by Ware, but Butler gets it back. Mooring for three. Including both of tonight's three. And here's Mooring trying to make it three threes tonight. Certainly have a lot to build on it, Brown, in the Ivy. Got 18 points tonight. Honorable mention, all Ivy selection last year's freshman. Mooring got bumped, no nice. call, but he hits the shot anyway. Bernard Smith. So we're tied at 28. UConn right back. There's Mooring with his first three of the night. From the top, you want to make it from the wing or baseline. Saunders to Mooring for three. His second three of the night. More to make UConn work to bring the ball up the floor more than they really try to turn him over. Mooring with his third three of the night. He doesn't have any twos. Wow. <laughs> Tough man-to-man -man defense. That gives you a sense of the aggressiveness early. And Albert Mooring, 18 seconds in, buries the three-pointer. Little on one, finds Brown. Now out to Mooring, his second three of the night. One. Butler rebound, ahead to Mooring. Pull up, three, got it! UConn is six of seven from behind the arc. People are getting opportunities like Saunders and oh, oh, Selby with the near slam. Back to Mooring and Albie Mooring with his fourth three. So UConn up 14 with the ball. Good head fake by Mooring. Oh. <laughs> Very hopeful that they'll make great strides this year in the conference. Well, I think they look better. I mean, they're playing with confidence. Obviously, when you face the likes of Albert Mooring with that jump shot, though. He's averaging 10 per game. Quickly, right side Mooring. Pull up jumper. 18 points for the senior from Preston, Maryland. Experience uh, game for someone like Bullock and the other freshman. Mooring for three. And the basket and the foul and an opportunity for perhaps the most rare thing in basketball, a four-point play. Shot clock at 10. Mooring with the right side jumper. Second on one. There's Mooring. Mooring. Does he have one there? Yeah, there's the first one. First points for Mooring as well. And they're trying to get a double screen for him for the jump shot. This could tie. Yes! Nice move by Connecticut to free up their one real good three-point shooter. This is the shot to tie it. Good double screen to get Mooring open. 1954 mark, virtually useless for the rest of his half. Deep and effective, huh? Knock it down. Let the traffic clear, get your feet ready, feel the defender. Deep three from Mooring. NBA range, but he has it. Mooring speeding. Tough shot. That space dribble, the good players get the legs. He's got those thin pins. Brown 
saved it for UConn. A little husky push with Boring out free. So good at taking those shots. Six or eight or nine feet. Bruiser Flint calls for timeout. Down to 14. Triple team that time. Mooring in the clear. Okay, nice hold off by Butler in the middle of the floor. She's on the glass of some people who can do some damage. And speaking of Illinois, Bill Self, their head coach, will be in studio during our St. John's Ohio State game tomorrow night. Michael Brand couldn't come up with the pass. Brown the push. Three. Locates more in the three point shooter. Simple, isn't it? Get in the lane once. Lamont Juan hands it to Talik Brown. Albert Mooring, little pull up from 15 is good. Been able to get any penetration and kickouts. Hazelton to Mooring. But an easy two. This is a good performance by the Huskies tonight. I had them earlier in the year with Lake as Thompson's been impressive for a guy wasn't that accomplished in high school. And Mooring says, You're not going to find me in transition. I will make you pay. 77 74. That's significant. I'm interested to see just how good the SEC is this year. There's some teams that are struggling a bit in that conference. Look we'll at Mooring again. Simple ball screen. Butler has it. He's running the floor. Here's Mooring. He's been hot in the second half. Spins. Knocked the man down. And he got the bounce. Let the shooter's bounce. He should. He's a shooter. And it's a three. That was a set play on the inbounds. Ran very well. But again, you kind of transition too much for Fairfield. He missed it. Fairfield had an easy two, and now white jerseys everywhere. Albert Mooring windmills it down. Control, and now a steal. It's loose on the four. White jerseys everywhere. Here's Mooring for the little layup. Back up to 17 on the break by Connecticut. They've been doing that well. Mooring inbounds. Drew the foul. Got the goal. Those are the last two plays. Our senior experience. 88-60. Connecticut on their way to a 16 straight win over Fairfield. Albert Mooring. How about that from Johnny Selby? Well, the key is to keep out of the, the senseless fouls along the down low. Brown set a heck of a screen that time to free Mooring for going. It scored just 21 points entering the ballgame. The steal by Butler. Two on one with Mooring. And UConn finishes by Tavares Bell. Started right to the 15 foot range with the catch and roll. The put back again. Nobody checked out Albert Mooring that time. Right back at you. That's why they were so good, I thought. Mooring in the lane. Takes Daniels off his feet. There's that seasoning of Mooring. Somehow gets the shot off. Here's Butler with rebound number nine. Ahead to Mooring. Goes right by Marbury. There's another rebound for Butler and a run out. Who's for Mooring? Look by Munir, but he didn't even hit the rim. Round changes directions. Good crisp ball movement for UConn, and Boring hits the two. That's a nice pass. And we Juan with a hand in his face. Not where Brisbane wants to take it. They want him down low, not for three point range. Boring for three, his first trifecta of the night. And but with his quickness, more often than not, he'll get a hand on it. Second in the Big East in steals, so I'll say it's paid off thus far. Boring with the right side jumper. Of the level he plays at a very high hustle and emotional level out there. National Junior College Player of the Year a year ago, Albert Mooring with the runner from the right side. 18th three-pointer of the season. Well, he's shooting it so well this year, but UConn pushes it quickly up the court. I'm Bob Picozzi along with Ron Perry. Delighted you could join us with a Big East opener between UConn and Boston College and Albert Mooring with a deep, deep three. By Alpha Bangura. He's the one that got a piece of the pass from Butler. Mooring wide open. And hits. There you go. Notice his shoulders came down like, thank goodness I'm able to convert. Steal by Brown. Nice lead pass. Mooring. Is right back in this one. Oh, 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 he keeps him trying to get off the back rim. Long rebound out to Brown. Connecticut with the number is Moran. How often have we seen that? Just cooked back. Nobody. And now on the run, Albert Moran. <laughs> That's sweet. Make its way and helped him win that game. Now a steal. Here's Moran. He likes it out there because he makes it out there. 19-12, the Huskies. Connecticut will take some time off it. Mooring. Got it. 
Something I know you may have found troubling, Mark, but it was a great win for Providence. It's amazing how many Providence Friar fans want to remind me before the Looking to set it up. Maury coming off a stagger pick. And the ball comes out to Marcus Cox. Long ball. Oh, Maury can't get it to go, but it does drop. Is that the soft touch? Really getting an education to trial by fire. Well, you look at Linehan and Maxey, the two seniors. Wow, D3 by Maury, the quiet assassin. See Shabazz back in the game. Around the top. Morin, the sharpshooter, was inside the line. That was a two-point field goal to start hitting 15-foot shots because there hasn't been a big man like Tim Bob Lanier that can deliver the 15-footer like Ewing has in his career, keeping that defense way out. Knocks up and over it with a three-point try. Rebound comes down, and uh, Robbins will give up the two. Team. This is a, an awfully good matchup between two coaches that know each other extremely well. Count the two for Morey. Not there. Here comes Butler. He'll push it up. Over on the wing. Uh, One of the purest strokes. Mark, as Texas continues to gun it outside the arc. Mooring pulls up from 18. Brown, why not have a shootout down here in Austin? Huh? <laughs> Back and forth. <laughs> Far away. Oh, boy. Mooring has got a sweet stroke. Take a look at Mooring, the 32nd player in UConn history. It's a lot of points. Mooring. Nice little curl play. Miami does not want to get into a track meet with no. Oh, no. Absolutely not. They want to make this a marathon. They don't want to go up and down. There's no team in the Big East that can go so quickly from defense. Jim Calhoun's had such a terrific career. He averages over 25 wins a game, and he does it with pressure. Keeping Connecticut in front of him at all times. Baseline runner goes. He had to work hard to get that shot. Just the third field goal tonight for Mooring. Leak Brown to Mooring. He'll shoot a three and hits it. Mooring hits the three. That is the first in the game. Went to an open spot, made himself a target, and just nailed it. Mooring gets inside, comes right back at him, gets his own rebound, back up and in. Good job. Stayed with it. For the Huskies, Cats and the Dogs tonight here in Hartford. Albert Mooring. It's a three. Last year, what a season he had. 47 fields. Mooring cut off back outside the ground. Mooring, no hesitation, and he nails it. Albert Mooring, the junior from Preston, Maryland, has got six. They go inside, punched away by Saunders. Third turnover for the Cats. Blake Brown might have gotten away with a palm. Mooring feeling it. That's why. Eight points. The Red Storm turned it over. Juan passes up the 15-footer from the wing. It's Albert Mooring for three. Nice job harassing the pass by Emmanuel. Brown will look to get to the basket more than take the outside shot. Mooring will look to take the outside shot. Same play. A bit harder for his shots here this year without guys like Elamine, Freeman, and Vosco on the team. There's an example. He'll hit it, but that's not the kind of shot guarding the first banner for uh, anybody to do with St. John's to get a raise to the Raptors is Mooring lays it in. How does tonight compare to Jason Williams, high school coach, as well at Christ the King? Good call. Here comes Mooring off the screen, and UConn is finding the range. But what they really have to do tonight is control the glass. Suleiman Juan and Saunders are tough if you let them go, and Mooring is tougher if he hits his first three. Well, forget they're at stores in Gamble Pavilion, one of the toughest forms in the conference. Corner jump coming and made by Albert Mooring. The miss nearly came up with it, but it's Mooring in the open court to Saunders. Got it back, and that's going to be goaltending. Shot with Roly Mastamino. <laughs> coach, I, I got to work on my trajectory here, coach. <laughs> Mooring baseline, good. Tough shot, no good. Rebound buckle. Mooring, pull up jumper, and he rolls it in. Dixon, you have to come out and start the ball when Albert Mooring. Dongo playing with three fouls, knows how to play. Only one speed all out. And I would not be surprised if Stokes replaces him. As you can see, Mooring feeling it from the perimeter. Albert Mooring zeroing in. He's Yvonne Butler in the open court. Kick out. Official down on the floor. Mooring's jumper is good. He's on the floor, too. He's got 18. Connecticut by seven. Malik Brown. Kicks back to Mooring for three. Got it! Oh. Ten-point lead in Connecticut. 
Six of 12 from behind the arc. Mooring stepped in. He's ahead of the field. Oh! And, oh, and goes down hard. And now a punch thrown. Talik Brown will be called for a technical foul. In a game like this, when coming into February, Mike, every win means something. Tempers flared. Let's take a look at it. Mooring looks like he's going to lay it up and said, I better throw it down. That's a hard foul. Not necessarily a terribly flagrant foul, but that was uncalled for. Talik Brown with a little verbal jarring, which you can get away with as a player as long as the referee isn't there. But it's that push away afterwards that Joe Hamilton's got to walk away. It was here in the half court set. Can they be solid with the basketball? Going to hand on Mooring. Mooring uses his hand to create some distance. It was his mentality against Virginia Tech that you liked here. Mooring. Goes around the wand screen. Throws up a three. Got him. Uh, what a difference in his confidence level. He comes off the curve with jump shots. Let's see if the Huskies can set up Swain for a spot up three against the zone. Mooring drives baseline as it block gets it right back. Yep, second chance opportunities. That's a couple times. Mooring with the miss. UConn was 13 and 2 before they lost five straight. Albert Mooring right side jumper. That's a two. I don't mean to suggest that the Friars a little bit better with him, but over the years, Mooring right side jumper is good. Albert Mooring makes it a 10-0 UConn run. Yeah. Three, which required surgery. He kept re-injuring it. Missed 24 games. It was a lost season. Inside Mooring with the double pump. Yeah, 23, 43.5% behind the arc. Shot clock inside 10. Boring, head fake, runner. Well, welcome. A little bit, a little bit of a matchup, it looks like. That's what they're looking to find, though. Albert Mooring, the open shot, just wait him out. Basketball. They do a nice job by hitting middle and going weak side, but then they've got to reset again. Mooring for three. Albert Mooring a year ago was shooting 47% from downtown, only 35% this year. Funky looking shot. He's shooting 45% from three point range. Leads the team in that department, and this time, Mooring with the left hand for a pair. He has him right here. Stalling out at this point, five seconds. Mooring for three. And he buries it. Are you kidding me? Shot that was called goaltending at the buzzer, and the Wildcats didn't think it should have been. Albert Mooring will regain the graces of his coaching staff with bombs like that. Gathings on the return. Here's Robertson for UConn. Mooring right side throws up the three and got it. Right. Now take a look at how many oh, points right. Tech has given away. Road game since last February 28th at Rutgers. They did win a couple of two neutral site games in Hawaii. Albert Mooring's Albert runner Mooring. and moving on the perimeter for UConn. See if they can get it inside the Saunders. Mooring gets the screen from Robertson. His second three of the afternoon. Very nice up fake. Connecticut's uh, defensive ability not giving Virginia Tech any looks. Mooring left side is third three of the afternoon. It's a 20 to one run for UConn. UConn. Rebound Selby and Saunders battle. Comes to Mooring. Two on two with Butler to his right. Mooring with the left. Ricky Soaps has to think about taking time, doesn't he? He doesn't have to think he is. And with good reason. What? For the second half. Robertson to Maury. Ball fake. Inside the three-point line. Half he's put two. together. The next shot he misses will be the first one he's missed since Tuesday. Talik Brown, head up. Finds Mooring, spot up three. Albert oh, Maury. What a day he's had. That's not an easy shot. And had a great point guard on that run, of course. Here's Mooring outside and drops in another three. Between these two teams, there's the Canes turning it over again. And again, the Huskies looking to run. Mooring on a flyer. Boy, Mooring's really getting out and attacking the basket. Because of a good job of keeping Darius Rice from getting any good looks. Round another runner. Boy, Mooring, rather. Right. That's the second time he's done that. That is a good looking shot. Eight minutes without a field goal. Oh. And they got, maybe got away with not having an offensive foul call there. Mooring will try to break the drop, and he does. I like that, Albert Mooring coming off those screens. Move inside and he couldn't pay it off. He couldn't make it happen, couldn't make it fit. You better get on that guy. Mooring, got it. Well, you don't get Albert Mooring any daylight as well as
goals he shot in the first half. Still not scored a field goal. Not too late, a lot of time left. He gets a little bit of a streak going. He can carry this basketball club. He put the team put him in a position to win. Mooring, what a drive. Oh. What, they're gonna wave it off. That's his fourth foul to boot. Oh, wait a minute, basket's good, and a foul. Great, but it always comes back to haunt him. Mooring got around his man. He'll take another one of those patented runners ahead. He's got that old Sherman Douglas push shot. <laughs> to the coming of age of guys like Talik Brown and Karan Butler. Mooring, three. Good. A little senior help doesn't hurt. Good anticipation by the freshman. Here is Butler on the run with Mooring. Nice finish by Albert. And he'll find guys right away. Good hands force that steal. Watch Morning close again. This time he pulled up on Carroll. Carroll was playing him to go to the rack. Double doubles. He's also number one in the country in block shots, averaging close to five per game. Mooring on the fade. Big effort to get the ball inside the down ball. Mooring all alone. You can't do that. <laughs> he'll kill you. Pirates digging in deep on the defensive end. Butler swirls around and out. Rebounded. Mooring with the stick back. Now Mooring. Dribble drive on the hop. Hey, oh, what a shot. Knocks it down. He's figured that ball's going in the basket. And now Albert Mooring, who wasn't able to defend him, takes Lane right to the basket. That is an extremely difficult shot. And you got to look at look at that as a lost opportunity. There was no other option. That's right. Mooring tries to get going with his first three. Albert Mooring, 39% shooter. A similar play. The Syracuse lead is seven. Nice take by Brown through the open top of that zone, and a foul on Damone Brown as Albert Mooring scores. Five. As we come to the nine-minute mark, ten to shoot. Mooring, nice ball fake to take it to, and when he is in rhythm, is so sweet to watch. Mooring got it to go. This time, the Huskies little push. Robinson runs the floor left. Mooring got the match, and they almost threw it away. Mooring. And that's a two-pointer and ties it up to the second half. And that was the three-pointer by Jamel Bradley. Here's Mooring. He's tried again and rimmed out. Juan keeps it alive. Mooring again. Got it that time. Nice pass from Juan. Good look. If the Huskies win this, it's going to be the strength of their senior, Edmund Saunders, that will have won the game for him. Here's Mooring outside. Got it. Well, that's what he does well. 